Johnson for the hands-on project uh, for chapter 8 and uh, basically this is for badstore.net we're going to be using VMware and I will show you how we got all this set up so basically when you set up your bad store right here you're going to be making a new virtual machine and I put custom Go next next and I'll install the operating system later and put Linux, put other Linux 2.4 kernel and do next, next and you can just put this whatever you want. I put 512 mix of, of RAM use uh, basically I just put as that for right now we'll change that later and I just put next pretty much all the way till the end to create our image and then after that you're going to go to your network adapter and you're going to select host only so that's the only thing you need to do and then you're going to instead of having under use the auto detect you're going to use an ISO image which you're going to use the badstore.net ISO and then click OK and then you can just go ahead and start it and that should be all that you have to do and you just have to wait a little bit and it will take a little bit of time once it tries to do the Ethernet connection which you'll see here in just a second it just has to basically have an address credit for it There it is, right there. So this part takes a little while. So instead of focusing on that, we will go ahead and what you want to do is you can open up Notepad, which is probably better than WordPad, but either way you can go. You just have to open it as an administrator. Click yes. And in here on your main machine, you want to go ahead and go into your main drive so go to this PC C drive and in our C drive we're going to go to Windows and under Windows you want to go to System32 and under here you're going to go under Drivers and etc and you see that there's nothing in here if you type in the word host with an S and click open this file will pop open right here and we're gonna actually be getting this number this IP address right there we're gonna be getting it from our host machine here in just a moment and then we just have to put the badstore.net right here so this is just gonna take a little bit of time and then once you find that number, and I'll show you here in just a moment how to get that, then you can actually make this work, otherwise it won't work without it. And also another thing to note, to go in and inside, inside and outside your virtual machine, you can press uh, control alt and that'll get your cursor back out alright so now we're in here and we're going to do if config and as you'll notice right there 192, 168, 11, 128 that's exactly what I used right here 192, 168, 11, 128 and I put a space and then a www.badstore.net and then what you want to do is you're going to save this file so you can basically just go file save and you'll only be able to do this if you did it as an administrator and then from here you can open up your web browser and then you can do http colon forward slash forward slash and then we're going to do 182.168 dot 11 dot 128 which is the address it gave me 
So here we go. So we're in the badstore.net and they want us to go here and do login for slash register there. So in that area. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to put put a hyphen here, space or one equals one or space colon right there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and click login. And there we are. And you'll see that it says test user right there. And now we don't want to type anything in here. You just want to click just the magnifying glass. And there we go. It's actually telling us the tables of our SQL, or basically our SQL table right here of this database. Now we're going to go check out the source code of this web page. So click on the login register, right click and you can view page source. And they want us to go ahead and copy all this. And I'll just use WordPad here. And we're basically already at the bottom of the page where they have our form here. And right there is what they want us to look for. Input type equals hidden, name role, value you. Now we're going to assume that U means user and maybe possibly A might be an administrator. So we're going to have to edit this and do a little bit more editing to, to get there to where we want to be. So we were down here, we changed that value to A to possibly be an administrator. So we're going to go up here and because they're talking about the local server here, we have to change that. So we're going to have to change the beginning of it. and. Uh, we're going to have to put in here HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and it's going to be 192.168.11.128 and then that will actually redirect it to their page using our form that we just created right now copying their source code. Alright, now I want to go ahead and save this. I'm going to go file, save as and basically we're going to be making this just a basic text document but instead of calling it text, we're going to call it index.html. And I'm going to go ahead and put it under my special folder I created for it. One hack. Right there. And I'm just going to say yes, I just want default text because we don't need anything special for HTML. And now we're going to go ahead and open that folder. So right there's my index.html. Let's load this web page here. Alright, so I just opened it up with my Chrome browser here. And now, let's see if we can create an administrator here. So we're going to put illegal admin. They're going to put crook at badstore.net. And then our password is going to be crook. So I'll never figure it out. Then now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click register right here at the bottom, which you can barely see here. And this actually didn't work because I didn't put the action with this IP address into each part of our actions here. So there's other ones within here. So the one I want to put it in is on that one right there. And that should get us to be able to register an account. As, uh, as an admin. I happened to put it in earlier for the, for the login. Alright, so basically I'm just saving it real quick. We will go back to our page here and I'll just reload it. And then we're going to put in our crook at badstore.net with crook as the password. Go down here and click register. And there we go. We're we're illegal admin and we got in. And as you notice, um, basically right here it says register. Let's just type in admin. There we go. See now we're completely in here and we can uh, look at whatever we want as an admin. 
So they show all the tables in there and everything like that. And if we want, we can actually kick out our own admin from this or uh, change users, change their passwords, mess with anything that's in here. And this concludes a basic, um, simple hacking session because you didn't uh, protect yourself against SQL injection.